Um, really proud of the team. Anytime you get a lightning or rain weather delay, it can really take the mojo out of your um, plans. And these kids came out and got after it, pitch one. Um, obviously, we're thinking we're getting Corex, so your mindset flips um, when you're getting somebody else. And to be able to rely on getting after a swing for the for the team, and I think we just put the pedals to the middle in the first innings. That really set this the tone, and Cat pitched a great game today. Um, that's a good USF ball club, so excited about a little rest tonight and getting after it tomorrow. Questions? Mac, were you surprised they didn't throw her? And are y'all watching before the game who's warming up and being like, okay, is that gamesmanship, or is she really not going to pitch? Like, when did y'all believe, <laughs> I guess for, for both of you, Lonnie and Mac, um, when did you believe she wasn't actually pitching and they were going with someone else? Well, we prepared to face Georgina. We know she's a pretty good thrower and to honestly expect their best game. And we expect that out of everybody. And we just had to adjust to whoever was coming in. Didn't I wouldn't say it phased us too much. Definitely knew that she's been injured. I mean, when they played their championship tournament, um, she didn't throw in the final because of injury. And so um, saw her warming up and then she pulled. So whether it's injury or maybe she only has so many bolts in the arm, she's saving them for another time. That's their strategy. So. Um, you know, I, I think in the beginning you're like, oh, you start talking a little bit, and all of a sudden the dugout's like, doesn't matter who's out there, just do our thing. So that was really cool to see the maturity on that side of it. Kat, have you ever pitched with a seven run lead before you <laughs> took the circle before? I don't know if that's ever happened here. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> probably. I, I don't know. I feel, I have no idea, I'm to be honest. Does I feel it like change your mindset at all when, when you have a seven run lead as, as opposed to like, in a pitcher's duel, zero zero in the third or fourth? I think the first inning, Mac actually said, like, who feels really relaxed right now? Like, when we came out and kind of did our infield thing. But, yeah, it's totally relaxing. Just takes a weight off your shoulders, knowing that you can just kind of go out there and do your thing. And, um, you know, if you give up a run or two, your team is already giving you a pretty good cushion. So, so Maya, when you come up, knowing you only need one more run to end the game, basically, were you looking for a specific pitch, or were you just going up there and taking the same approach you normally do? Well, we always go up to the plate, you know, having a plan. We all know in the back of our head, like one more game and we're out of, like, we're out of here. But I think I just decided to just execute my plan, and instead of worrying about trying to hit a home run to end it, and when you just execute your plan, then things just worked out. You made it the home run, huh? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, what's your plan? Um, I talked to Rafter before my um, at bat, and we just talked about some things that we've been working on in practice, and really just to get my pitch and just see it elevated, and really just get extended on the ball, and it just worked out. Yeah. <laughs> what, what did it feel like to you know to play at Florida State and to hit a home run in a game like that? I mean, it felt amazing because I mean this is like everybody's dream. It was my dream, and just for the opportunity to just get out there and you know all the hard work that you put in and when all things just come together, it just feels amazing to come home and get a hug, get a hug from my teammates <laughs> and come to the dugout and everybody's just celebrating. So it just felt great. Coach, you've had two pitchers really had outstanding outings in this regional. And, uh, and uh, can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, we've had a really incredible season. I think uh, we've had a lot of things sinking. Um, you know, defense has been outstanding. Um, the pitching has been very relaxed, has a really good understanding of what they're trying to do in the circle. And um, I think the offense has just um, really done a good job of taking what we learned last year and adding some power numbers to it. So there's a, a comfort that we have a couple different ways to win games and different people coming off the bench and, and, you know, it's not the same person all the time. And so I think there's like when Kat says there's a weight off your shoulder as a pitcher with runs on the board, there's a weight off your shoulder as a hitter too because you know it's passing the bat and you know someone's going to get it done, so everyone's pretty present with that. So um, so yes, Danielle, great yesterday. Um, Kat, great today. Matt coming in. I mean, three outs is huge for us and be able to do what you do. So, um, But that comes from just the body of work. You know, you're just going to trust what you've been doing all season long and you don't make the game any bigger than it is and you got to enjoy it and have fun and I think they're doing a really good job of that. In a regional like this where you know, you, you might have to play as many as two tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, did you, does it cross your mind to, you know, save some pitches with uh, your starter at um, some point? Yeah, oh, definitely. You know, I mean, the management and the strategy of it is, is big, but everyone's playing the same amount of games, and we've had years of experience of coming through loser's bracket. Like, it just comes down to your left and right and giving your all. And the minute that a pitcher can't give 
anything else, then someone else is going to pick up the circle and get after it. So um, I think that we've been talking that since day one here is just give everything we have. Lonnie, there can be a natural reaction, I guess, when you're not facing a great picture to maybe relax and go, yeah. okay, we're getting a break here. Mm -hmm. And then that can really turn into a negative where you try to do too much. Mm -hmm. How proud of you were of you of the of the team mm -hmm. just that first inning sitting 13 to the plate and nobody took enormous swings. They seem to be playing within themselves a little bit. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's one of those things like you can start to work your mind, like who they're going to throw, what does she have, you know, to a point where the dugout was just like, man, it doesn't matter. Like, let's just do us and, and make sure that we, we stay focused on us. And, you know, I think Harding had that good one, you know, even Mudge, you know, had the one to, to the first baseman and the mat comes up opposite field. When you start getting big fly and you hit high, you know, pop-ups, you're rolling over stuff, like you're not locked in. And so Matt to drive the ball opposite field. And, and you know, like I said, there, there can be mechanical plans and there can be sitting pitches plans and everyone's in a different spot and what they need to bring and, and they were all locked in. So yes, very proud. Um, but man, and by this point in the season, that's what you want from your teammates. So it's not so much as the coaching staff anymore. It's about these guys really coaching each other up and getting after it because it's their opportunity right now to move forward. And they've done an incredible job this season. And I would say it again, like it's our program, but it's their team. And they have really taken that in probably in the last month about like, what is this team going to be and what are we going to be all about? And so I felt that that dugout today of just like, it doesn't matter who they pitch, like let's just do what we need to do. Lonnie, how, how much of an advantage is it getting that extra rest, going 2-0, and and also having two run rule games? Yeah, very nice, yeah. Um, very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, huge advantage. You want to be the the most rested, tired team when you get to Oklahoma City. Like, everyone's going to be tired. Everyone's going to be sore. People are going to have nicks and bruises, and that's just the way it is. And from day one, we talk about whoop and recovery and all that stuff. Like, we're going to be beat up, and that's okay. But, like... Can our minds be there? Can we be in a good spot? Be like, man, I'm a little bit tired, but I'm ready to get after it. Knowing I have a few extra innings, you know, under my belt right now, because we had a five run game, like, or a five inning game, that's awesome. But we still got to perform tomorrow. And so it's about their recovery tonight. It's about hydrating, all the things that we talk about all the time. So you got to stick to your plans and, and keep working on that part because they want it. You can see they want it. They're, they're, they're after it for themselves. And so, you know, like we talked downstairs, like say hi to your parents and, have a little dinner, but it's time to get my feet up and watch some softball because I got something to do tomorrow. Mac, this is your first postseason, for say, first first season. What have you learned about this team this postseason? Just just that maybe was different than what you were able to learn about them throughout the season. Um, I think a lot of it is just like we all are very committed to our plan, and that's staying one pitch at a time. We talked a lot about it, especially a lot in the last month, but now so like coming off of ACC tournament um, championship game, like staying in it one pitch at a time, like it really makes a difference. One swing can change a game and continuing to do that. And I think we're all just very comfortable with doing it now because you practice it and practice it in order to be comfortable for the big moments. And I think we're um, more than prepared for those moments now. And Kat, what is it like being in the visitor dugout um, and warming up in the visitor bullpen? Uh, did you, were you guys in your own locker room? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll practice over there sometimes, and like we always talk about, like being in the visitors' dugout, being in the visitors' bullpen, it just means that it's postseason. So uh, yeah, I mean it's just exciting because being over there means it's postseason because we spend the rest of our season in first base dugout. So it's exciting being over there. Lonnie, can you get a rule established where if you're the number two overall national seed, you get to just be the home team? <laughs> <laughs> your own um, we've been talking about that. Yeah, we actually <laughs> brought it up yesterday, and I think it's a baseball softball thing, and. Um, I think Sharon talked about like I think in basketball maybe there's not a big difference but in baseball softball there is a big difference and you earn a national seed and um, I, you know when this is all over and done with like the powers to be I definitely will talk to them because I do think it's a um, whether you should be able to defer when you want to be home or visitors or but there should be there's so much strategy in our game right now that is absolute strategy so it's definitely something that everyone kind of jokes about but I think it's a real thing and I think the baseball side would agree too like it's very important for home field advantage and, and you know last time to, to swing it so coach what is the good. big difference pardon what is the big difference of being in your home dugout versus the visitor? I just dugout? think being the home team you know so like right now there's the I don't know I say the fairness clause I don't know what it is but you know like um you you have to be visitors like um, if both teams have been home then it would go to the higher seat if one team hasn't been home then they get to be home team um, maybe I would opt to choose to be visitors versus Howard so I could be home today. Like, you know, there'd be strategy in the fact that today's the biggest game of your postseason career, right? Like you want to play this game, especially if you earn a number one seed and you're playing a four seed, maybe the strategy is maybe I'll take that as a visitor and get after the, the day two, because that's a huge game for you and being the home. So you have the chance, you know, in the bottom of the, 
the seventh to get after it. So I just think uh, it's a big difference in the mindset, and we should be able to have that that strategy piece. Couple more. We good. Thank you guys. All right. Yeah.